Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at the new image vectorization or image tracing functionality in VCarve Pro. Here we have a, a sign blank already laid out and we're going to take a JPEG file or an image file that could be downloaded off the internet or it could be taken with a digital camera. We're going to import the image into the center of the sign, fit some vector boundaries and calculate a V-carving toolpath or an engraving toolpath. So first of all we start by importing the image file from the file operations menu so import image file here we have the eagle.jpg you'll see that the clicking once selects the jpeg file we click twice we get the handles that allow us to move the jpeg around and position it we can also scale by clicking on a handle and dragging when we're happy with the size and the position of the of the image file we're now going to select the new image tracing or fit vectors to bitmap icon so the trace bitmap form appears if we just zoom in a little bit you'll see that this is a grayscale bitmap or a, a black and white bitmap we have some control over the color threshold so we can merge colors together from black to white so we drag the slider to give us the level of detail that we wish to carve or engrave now we have some control over the, the corner fitting or how smooth the vectors will fit around the JPEG image. So we want a reasonably smooth curve, about 80%. We also have a noise filter that allows us to stop vectors from being calculated for small random dots or unwanted noise in the image. Fit the vectors, close the form. Another new feature in VCarve Pro 4 is the option to use layers. If we look at the layers, a bitmap la layer has been created with the image of the eagle on it. If we can switch this image off, that just leaves us with the vectors for the eagle. If we click on a vector, click N for node editing, you'll see that we can we could go in and we could change the shape of this if, if we wish. Press the letter F to zoom to fit. Next, just going to select all of the vectors for the eagle so click and drag swap from the drawing tab on the left to the toolpaths tab on the right calculate a V carving toolpath here we're going to use a 90 degree V bit and calculate so the software has calculated the toolpath for V carving the eagle into the sign we can preview this toolpath So there we've gone straight from the image file to a toolpath in a matter of seconds and we can preview all of the other toolpaths that we've calculated for the sign. So preview the text, preview the groove around the edge and preview the drilled holes for holding the sign in place. So there we've got a, a very impressive sign. We look at the two dimensional view again, switch the bitmap layer back on switch some of the vectors off we've gone from a, a JPEG image calculated some vector geometry and it v-carved it directly in the software